It's like the spirit answered all of my prayers and now I resent him for it. Oh, I used to take so much time for myself to just sit and be silent. I haven't heard that sound in years, but I've replaced it with a lot of voices that claim to be God. The first poem I ever wrote was about San Francisco and the homeless and what I was told. I was 12 years old and I rhymed poor white bro with chips from Nabisco given to a beggar as he pushed his cart down the road. That boy got buried at Hayton Ashbury beneath the Ben and Jerry's in a big city and a pretty girl is the only thing he needs to get his heart to beating again. Oh, this all used to be for nothing and no one, and now I shout TRANSPARENCY! But I miss every single one of my secrets. I would rather know pain than be numb, but then again, we ask for the opiates to numb the pain for us. Well, I always fall asleep to dream of mending up my wounds, then wake to spend the day reliving every bruise for the sake of a sad song, or a sweet repose, or seeing the blood flow from the stitching like it were a cavalry of demons in retreat, promising to leave me alone. They're liars! The release has never been as satisfying as the promise to fix what's been sown. We get bottled up like the alcohol gets bottled up and then we bottle it up in us. And I search for ways to define myself by some skeptical lack of trust. Because if I can't trust in anything, I'm not to blame for my lack of movement. And I can abuse everyone's pity. And I can convolute it. My sister used to sing when she was younger, but the world it got in her throat! And she put that dream away while coming of age acted as a serpent and questioned her home. When I was younger, I wanted to be a cowboy. And then I wanted to be Superman. And then I wanted to wear my cowboy boots over my red underwear Superman costume and be... Cow man, <laughs> well, I am a cow man. Said all of my fantasies about my wife to be were based upon things I should have never seen. All of our fantasies about our wives to be are based on positions it should have never been. Idolized by our eyes, worshipped as though they gave us life, but that's the nature of the beast. And he still squirms next to wisdom as she screams, clawing for me on the streets. And how does life begin as a seed that turns out to scream for something? Like someone misnamed gift for to be inherently found wanting. If there is so much joy to be had, then tell me where I went wrong. Because for all the times I tried to satisfy my mom, I still cannot write one joyful song! So mom, I tried. And come October, I thought that I could do it. But November threw us into a whirlwind again. And come January, I knew it. All the things that I told my fans about the hope that I had found are lying in a hotel bathroom in a puddle of blood on the ground. And somebody will love it because it's honest. And somebody will hate it because it's crude. But as for me, Every time I stand and give my testimony to a crowd, I will lie awake at night and wonder about whether or not I told the truth. God forgive me! I believe a lot of lies that come from the mouths of a lot of good liars. Namely, me. But I'd rather tie a millstone around my neck and throw myself into the sea than perpetuate some emotionally driven blasphemy that you don't care for the suffering, suffering serpent. Give your children eyes to see the wonders that you have for them and ears to hear the direction for their wandering, wandering feet. Grieve with me! Will you grieve with me? Look at the cross, the promise we receive. I will grieve with you with groanings too deep for words. I will sympathize with the temptation to believe the lies that you have heard. I will mourn over the loss of finite family and friends. And I will defeat death so that you will know that death is not the end. At the cross of Christ I know that the bonds of sin are broken. That they bar the gates of hell for me. And that heaven's doors are open as wide as my sweet Savior's arms were stretched out when he died. And a love has defeated death with a life for me to hope in. At the cross of Christ I know that despair has been removed. That it drowns beneath the crushing weight of hope is found in you.
as blood spills in puddles to cover every self-inflicted bruise, murder becomes salvation. The resurrected truth at the cross of Christ I know that anger has found its vengeance, that righteousness became sin for me, and that only at the remembrance of a man acquainted with sorrows do I stand forgiven of my resentment as wrath and justice turn aside to crucify my defendant at the cross of Christ I know. The shame has lost its place. That Jesus Christ endured the curse and scorned all the disgrace and atoned before the throne as death fled without a trace that I might enter in and look full on his wonderful face at the cross of Christ I know.